Going to space might be a dream for everyone. However, recently, some of the world's richest have been interested in space ventures. Commonly, we have heard the name of Musk appear whenever we talk about space travels. But this time around, the tide has shifted to the world's richest person. Yes, Jeff Bezos went to space. The wealthiest guy on the planet officially became the richest guy off of it as well. Just 10 days after the English investor Richard Branson went to play on his space flight company Virgin Galactic, Bezos had a space flight accompanied by three other people. People might be interested to know what happened on the flight and how they explained their experiences. That's why today, we have decided to talk about everything you need to know about Jeff Bezos' first flight into space. But before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos like this one. And having said that, let's get into the video. On Tuesday, July 20th, Bezos flew into space, had a look at the planet from the outside, experienced zero gravity, and came back. All of this happened in a short span of 11 minutes, but Jeff and the other passengers were over the moon as they loved the experience. And as Funk said, I loved every minute of it. This mission was the first Blue Origin flight into outer space that carried individuals. The trip was planned a few weeks ago and the whole world was awaiting the day the crew launched into space. However, Jeff was not alone on the flight. He was accompanied by his brother Mark, an 82-year-old former aviator, Wally Funk, and an 18-year-old teenager, Oliver Damon. One of the four seats was set for auction, and an anonymous buyer paid $28 million for the ticket. However, due to scheduling issues, he had to cancel his flight at the last moment, and Oliver was considered his replacement. Oliver paid an undisclosed amount for his venture, which his father paid. Oliver has a pilot's license and is going to college for physics this fall for his bachelor's. This flight made a unique record of sending the youngest and the oldest person into space. Wally Funk was initially barred from flying in the early 1960s due to her gender, but has now made history the oldest person to visit space. All of the passengers loved the experience and talked very highly about it. This adventure will surely pave the way for more future private endeavors of space and people from all over the world might start to plan their honeymoons in space for some money. Funk especially loved the experience, and she even explained how she is eager to go back to space again. In her interview after the mission, she said, We had a great time. It was wonderful. I want to go again, fast. I loved every minute of it, she said. I just wish it was longer. It was not quite enough for all of us to do rolls and twists. Funk cemented her desire to return to space, declaring, I loved it. I can hardly wait to go again. Damon and Mark Bezos also shared their absolute joy at the experience. Damon said in an interview, It was a bit more emotional than I would have thought. We are one of the first, and let's hope that many, many more people join us. Because of this experience, we should share with more and more people. Damon added, I was surprised. Mark Bezos said about his experience, I mean, they told us that G-forces would feel like on the way up. It was incredibly exhilarating. Mark Bezos added that his family has been extremely supportive through all of this, with his brother Jeff jokingly referring to him as the funniest person ever in space. Now, let's have a look at the rocket which Blue Origin used to send them to space. The vertical takeoff and landing vehicle launched by Blue Origin in 2015, New Shepard, was used in this flight and the rocket was 100% computer-operated. There was no human pilot inside, and all of the security protocols were set already. If anything on the system had failed, they were backup systems. But luckily, there was no need for any such security. The flight took off at 1 p.m. UTC as the rocket lifted off, as the engines lighted and it took off the launch pads. The New Shepard went 100 kilometers ahead of the Earth's surface some 20 kilometers more than what Virgin Galactic accomplished nine days ago. The American billionaire's 10-minute voyage to the edge of space departed from Blue Origin's launch site, one facility roughly 32 kilometers from the rural Texas town of Van Horn. After successfully landing in the desert in West Texas after his 10-minute space flight, Bezos said it was the best day ever. Even before the crew landed, we could see what they felt due to the onboard microphones and the new Shepard capsule. While bits of audio were audible once they reached space, the flight traveled about the Kármán line, a boundary of space 62 miles 100 kilometers, above Earth's surface. 
The most apparent onboard sounds were joyous woohoos, oh wows, and cries of that's incredible from the crew. As the new astronauts floated without gravity, a male voice asked, is it everything you thought it would be? Funk exclaimed, fantastic, and the crew looked out the window. After they landed, Bezos started his remarks by especially thanking the Blue Origin team, and he admired the work they have been doing for years. Bezos also said how this venture would pave the way for more such commercial space ventures. Following the success of that mission and Blue Origin's mission today, we look to the future which includes more crewed, suborbitable flights, some of which are already planned, and it might not be late when we might be heading to space ourselves. Well, that brings us to the end of our video. Comment right below what you think of this short yet wonderful experience of the crew in space. And would you like to venture into space one day? Before going anywhere, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more thrilling videos like this one. Until the following video, stay tuned. Thank you.